Welcome back. So we don't have a database yet, but we will soon. And my system is going to end up something like this. And I've decided to make a system like this because it shows you a lot of different relations between different entities. Uh, it shows you a one-to-many, it shows you a many-to-many -many and how that converts into a one-to-many times two. Um, and I'm going to skip this guy for now because address is just not something you would put on a customer like this. There are other ways to do it. But I'm going to try and make this setup right here in my system. Now, before you start building a system, you should sit down and make a drawing like this. So you at least have an overview of all your different entities. And um, this is what I came up with right here. Uh, so I really encourage you all to, to make such a drawing before you really start diving into your code. What do I want to do next? Well, I want to try and make the order, right? Because I want to try and make something new here. I want to make a relation between a customer and an order. And in order to do that, step one for me is going to be actually just creating a new order entity and mapping it throughout my entire system with repositories, with services, with the order entity itself. And I also have to put some information between these two and I'm going to map all of that in the next couple of lessons. And then we're going to make a full repository, uh, sorry, a full REST API that also can create full CRUD for orders, right? So that's the goal of the next couple of lessons. And um, so that's what we're going to do next. Now, the first thing I want to do this lesson is to create the order entity and kind of map this right here, the relation between an order and a customer. Now, if you read this diagram, it should be read something like this. A customer can have zero to many orders, right? And an order should only have one customer, right? So you, that's how I read the diagrams. And that's how you can read the diagrams. You can say a customer needs zero to many orders, right? The zero to many right here. And an order needs one customer. So try and get that mindset up and running. Uh, order has one too many order lines and an order line can be in one order. An order line can have one product and a product can have zero to many order lines. Start getting that into your, into your mindset. That's really helpful. Let's try and create the order entity this lesson and just make the mapping that you see right here. Coming into my code, step one is of course to go into my core entities I want to add a new class and it's called an order right here. I'll say OK and I'll just add to git. That's fine. And what does it need? Well, jumping back to my diagram, it needs an ID, an order date and a delivery date. So let's just put that in here. Uh, property of int ID. I might as well just tell you guys, I'm going to skip some of this. Yeah, I'm not going to make all the service and everything from scratch in videos. I'm going to create it in the next lesson. But I think the mapping is something that's new and that's what I want to show you guys. I'm going to need an order date right here. Order date, date, there we go. And that's going to be a property of course. So let's just do it the easy way by writing prop, tab. I'm going to make this into a date time, date time. And that's going to be an order date, there we go. And I'm going to make another prop right here. Tab, date time. And that's going to be, I guess, delivery date. Yeah, delivery date. But I also need, the final thing I need right here is of course a reference to my, um, to my customer. Now let's just make a reference to the customer and actually have the customer reference the order as a list. So again, if we look right here, you'll see that if I'm in the order, I only have a single customer. And that means that in my order entity, I'll make a simple customer right here. So I'll say property, customer, customer. There we go. That's all I have to do. Now, if you're new to C Sharp, it's kind of confusing that it says customer and customer, but remember this is the type and this is the name, right? So you have, that's why it's okay to say customer, customer. It understands that, no problem. And that's the way that you write it in C Sharp. It's different in Java, but this is C Sharp. Good, so now that is out of the way, let's have a look at the customer. If I go back here, you'll notice that a customer can have zero too many orders. Pretty much meaning that we need a list, right? So how do we make that? Well, it's very simple. We go in here and we make a new property and that's going to be a list of orders, right? We'll get back to uh, some changes we can make to that, but that's the simplest way to do it right here. We're going to get a list of orders. That's it. Now we have the relation inside the code at least. Now the cool thing is with relations like this and with the NC framework that we're going to use later, it can actually automatically map this for you. That's freaking amazing. So automatically you can say, okay, so you're you're kind of explaining to me that a 
customer has a list of orders and an order has a single customer, then probably you want this relation. I'll add a foreign key up here and everything is honky dory. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. Now we made the entity and what I'm going to do in, until the next lesson is I'm going to add the service for the order, I'm going to add the interfaces that we need and I'm going to add the customer repository and a bit of fake DB information. Don't worry, I'll run over all of that with you in the next lesson. See you next time. Have fun.